Countries around the world are battling with increased costs, as we're seeing the highest inflation rates in decades. As rates have exceeded 9% in the UK and US in June 2022, many people feel worse off as the cost of living soars. So, what is inflation? And how does it impact the economy? This is Decomplicated. What is inflation? Unlike individual items changing in price, inflation is a broad increase in prices across different goods and services. It can affect the prices of a wide range of goods, from grain to clothing, energy bills to transport. As a result, it affects everyone's finances. Inflation is usually calculated using a percentage rate over a specific time frame. Let's say a cup of coffee cost £2.20 in 2021, but today that same coffee costs £2.50. That's an increase or inflation rate of around 13.7% in price. So, as inflation rises, a unit of currency buys less than it used to, which results in a decrease in the purchasing value or power of that currency. Different goods and services carry different weight when the overall inflation rate is calculated. For example, a rise in the price of fuel will have a greater impact on the inflation rate than, say, the price of footwear, because people tend to spend more of their money on fuel than they do on footwear. The opposite of this is deflation, where the general cost of goods and services decreases when the inflation rate falls below 0%. This increases the purchasing power of money. Deflation can be harmful to an economy, as it can hold back economic growth and reduce overall prosperity. For example, if people start to think that prices will be lower tomorrow, they have less incentive to buy things today. And when lots of people hold back on spending, the economy begins to shrink. This is known as a recession. The most commonly followed measures of inflation track the prices of goods and services that ordinary consumers tend to buy. These are then collected together in an index, such as the Consumer Price Index and the Wholesale Price Index, and give an overall figure for the rate of inflation. What causes inflation? Generally, the cause of inflation is the increase in the supply of money to an economy. This can be due to an expanding economy or because a government decides to print more money. There are three main mechanisms that can cause inflation. Demand-pull inflation happens when there is more demand for goods and services than supply. When too much money is chasing too few goods or services, prices are pulled upwards until producers are forced to make more of the items in demand, or enough buyers are put off that demand falls and prices come down. It can occur when the economy is growing and people are confident to spend lots of money. It can also happen when supply of goods and services falls suddenly. For example, when gas prices rose in 2021, it was mainly caused by disruption to supplies. Cost push inflation is when consumer prices rise due to an increase in production costs, such as labor or raw materials. Recently, high energy prices have driven the cost of materials up and supplies have been disrupted as a result. This has prompted many people to call for higher wages to cover their own costs, but pay rises are largely not keeping up with inflation. Built-in inflation occurs when people expect inflation to continue to rise. As a result, sellers of goods and services put up their prices in expectation that others will do the same. An example of built-in inflation is the wage price spiral seen in some wealthy economies in the 70s. Prices rose rapidly and high inflation continued for several years. Workers in a number of industries pushed for wage increases, which in turn increased costs for businesses, meaning they had to raise prices to remain profitable, creating an inflationary spiral. What is hyperinflation? Governments try to keep prices stable, with inflation rising slowly at around 2%. To do this, they attempt to keep demand roughly in line with supply. However, countries can enter what's known as hyperinflation. This is when prices rise by more than 50% in a single month. Extreme cases of hyperinflation are quite rare and usually only occur when an economy is facing collapse or a government begins creating large amounts of new currency in order to pay its debts. This happened in Venezuela and Zimbabwe and Germany in the 1920s, when the government printed more money to pay reparations after the First World War. A small amount of inflation is generally considered a sign of a healthy economy, because as the economy grows, demand for goods and services increases. 
Central banks, governments and businesses will hope to maintain this delicate balance. But the push and pull of various causes of inflation, like the recent disruptions to supplies of oil and gas to global markets, ultimately makes it difficult to control price rises within an economy.